Can you imagine a place where you're not allowed to laugh, shop, use the internet, and experience nightly power outages? It may sound unbelievable, but this is the reality of 25 million people living in North Korea. This is the dark side of North Korea. It all started at the end of World War II, in the summer of 1945. As the war was cooling down, Stalin's Soviet Union and the U.S. started to mark their territories, two world superpower nations rationing their share. The Soviet Union decided to take the top, North Korea, and the U.S. took the bottom, South Korea. Then the two nations were created, and just like their mentors, South Korea and North Korea are involved in a long-standing Cold War. One of the most prominent figures from North Korea is Kim Il-sung, who was Kim Jong-un's grandfather. He was born in Korea, but moved to Manchuria, and it was there he joined the anti-Japanese fighters. He successfully moved up the ranks until he joined the Soviet Army and became a captain. That's when the Soviet Union received North Korea. They introduced him as a potential leader. At this point, Kim Il-sung is a legend, and he got Stalin to send him enough military to begin a war with the South. Kim Il-sung was then preceded by his son, Kim Jong-il, until he died in 2011, which is when the current supreme leader, Kim Jong-un, took over. If you ever complained about your country's lack of respect for free speech, you might be in for a shock when you know what happens to people who voice the smallest amount of protest toward the North Korean government. The political oppression in North Korea is all-encompassing. You're being monitored physically and digitally, and being indoctrinated relentlessly. If you're a North Korean, you face physical isolation from the rest of the world. You can't leave the country without your government's permission. People who are allowed to travel outside of the border are diplomats, elite students, recruited workers, or athletes, and even they are being monitored 24-7 and have to attend special debriefings once they're back in North Korea. The same goes for foreign tourists who are visiting North Korea. You will be fully briefed by your tour guide on what to wear, what to say, and what to do during your visit. You're also not allowed to take pictures in certain areas or wander alone. There will be private tours organized for you with a guide always present. Those who attempt to leave and enter illegally or defy their regulations will face severe consequences, such as torture, forced labor, or life imprisonment. Physical isolation is not the only thing you'll feel as a North Korean. Currently, there are only 28 websites that North Koreans are allowed to access. All of these websites are controlled by the government and contain information on limited subjects such as recipes, North Korean news, or North Korean universities. If you're caught listening to or watching foreign media, you'll be put into political prison camp or executed. The country is ranked 180 out of 180 countries in the world in terms of freedom of press, meaning they're the worst in the world. This is because they don't want the outside world to derail their indoctrination of Kim's dynasty cult of personality teachings. Their regime glorifies the North Korean ideology and demonizes others especially the United States and South Korea. On the other hand, the Kim family rewrote history on how he single-handedly liberated Korea from the Japanese occupation. He forces his people to call him Heavenly Leader, and has statues of him erected all over the country. Is your birthday at the end of December? Then too bad, because you will not be allowed to celebrate it if you're North Korean. Another outrageous rule from the North Korean government is the ban of laughing drinking alcohol, or engaging in any leisure or celebratory activities during the mourning period of the late Kim Jong-il. Every year, there is a 10-day mourning period starting from December 17th. In 2021, which marked the 10th year anniversary of Kim Jong-il's death, the mourning period was extended to 11 days. If any resident breaks the rule, they will be arrested and treated as criminals. Your activities and information access are not the only things being monitored and limited by the North Korean government. They also tell you how to dress or physically present yourself. The country has its list of state-approved haircuts, 14 for women and 14 for men, 28 styles in total. Not only that, currently the country has banned nine fashion styles, tight pants or skinny jeans, 
long hair on married women's leather trench coats, band t-shirts, spikes or dyed hair, horn-rimmed glasses, ripped jeans, Mayo-style suit, and nose piercings. Are you planning to defy their regulations? Then be prepared to be forced into labor camps, also known as Quanlizo, where political prisoners and their families are sent to perform labor under harsh conditions. Lots of innocent people are being sent to these labor camps due to the three generations of punishment policy. This means that three generations of a prisoner's family are also sent to the camp without committing any crime. You're just guilty by association. Accounts from former detainees and defectors of North Korea painted a grim picture of life in Kwanlinzo. Some of the most well-known Kwanlinzo are Kwanlinzo numbers 15 and 16. One facility can hold up to 20,000 detainees, and the estimated number of prisoners in total is about 120,000. According to 38 North reports, the country is facing one of the greatest starvation in the history since the Great Famine in the 1900s. In the 1900s, it was predicted that about 5% or 1 million of their population died as a result of food insecurity. This is because North Korea is reluctant to open up its economy and relies on self-sufficiency, even though they have unfavorable soils for agriculture. The condition is made worse because of the pandemic, and North Korea is adamant about cutting down imports and closing its borders. International organizations have offered their help to give North Korean solutions to their food shortages, but their national newspaper called relying on external aid would be the same as taking poison candy. It's so bad that almost 40% of North Korean population is undernourished and requires humanitarian assistance according to research by the World Food Program. The country even resorted to asking its citizens to use their own poop to make fertilizers to increase crop production. Each citizen is told to produce a quota of 150 kilograms of manure from human waste, and if you work in state factories, you'll be required to provide 500 kilograms instead. There's also the issue with electricity, which used to be shut off at night during Kim Jong-il's time due to shortages. The condition has improved after Kim Jong-un's rule, with the streetlights being turned on at night. But the glory was short-lived because of Pyongyang's, North Korea's capital city, growing demands. The province outside of Pyongyang are now operated based on quota, while excess powers will be sent to the capital. So if you already finished your quota for the day, you'll be living in darkness. Another mystery is the conspiracy theory that Kim Jong-un has been replaced by a copycat and is dead. After weeks of being out of the spotlight in April 2020, lots of people are speculating that Kim Jong-un's facing a deadly disease. Then Kim resurfaced in May, sporting a healthier figure. People then started a conspiracy theory that a body double is taking over Kim's appearance, and the real Kim is now dead. South Korean intelligence investigated the issue and commented that it was the real Kim, not a body double. But all of these claims are made using high-resolution videos and stereometry analysis of Kim's face and body composition. There's still a possibility that North Korea is using old footage to piece together an appearance, and knowing their secretive nature, anything is possible. Overall, North Korea is a secretive and often unpredictable country, but hopefully, one day, its people will breathe free air.